Now, what I got here is the leeks that I chop it up. Yeah. And then I got the sausage. If we move all over there, uh, Philip, you have rosemary, fresh rosemary. Very important to use fresh rosemary because this is going to give a lot of flavor. C take uh, the leaves out, finally chopped for me, and uh, uh, fairly quick, Philip, because I need to get this dish done. Oh. Uh, then I go porcini mushroom, mm. dry porcini mushroom. Again, you go into any delis, you find those little sachets of porcini yeah. mushroom. Very powerful in flavor. So the way to do it, they dry, okay? Yeah. You put them in water, cold water, warm water for How about 20, 20 minutes will do. Look, they regenerate, okay? Like Rehydrate. Uh, uh, well, once you put the water, they regenerate. Squeeze some of the water out, okay? Then on a chopping board, and if you can, chop them for me. Holly, and do you don't do anything please. with the liquid? Uh, not really. The only thing that you could do with the liquid, if you're making a mushroom risotto, during yeah. the week, keep the liquid so you can use it as a stock. And that's a real powerful uh, that's thing. That's a real powerful thing. How we, fine do you want this chopped? That's fine. Oh. That's <laughs> no, no, that actually is fine. You roughly chop. The, roughly. Uh, uh, so if you put them in there, put the uh, pan on the heat again and stir all together. Now, let me talk to you about the sausage. When you do this dish, you're going to have to get a good quality sausage. Yep. Okay, because it's not point on getting a cheap one or something that doesn't taste anything. I'm using Italian sausage, you don't have to, but the good thing with Italian sausage is got the uh, fennel in there. So um, the fennel gives an extra kick. It's quite high fat, isn't it? Quite, look, yes, it's... Italian sausage, I tend to have uh, the, the grizzle in the middle is quite thick and fat. That's the only difference. And the way to do it, get your sausage in the hand, don't fiddle around with seeds. Or other, look, you just have to squeeze it, OK? Yeah. You squeeze oh, it, you will see yeah. the meat coming on both ends. Yeah. OK, so the skin will stay in your hand and the uh, meat will come out. Really, what I've done, I took the meat, crumble it with a leek, a little bit of olive oil. After five minutes, that's what you get. What, what, do, you, what, what do you want this? Um, in there, in the pan, just a couple, uh, not, not, not all of it. I would do quite two strong. pinches, it's quite strong. Again, with rosemary, uh, guys, uh, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of dry herbs, mm -hmm. okay? The only one probably I would use as a dry herbs would be oregano. The dry oregano, rosemary, it, come on, it grows everywhere. And it tastes bitter, I think, when it's dry as well. Yes, I quite like the frozen right. herbs. The frozen herbs, I, really I think good. that is the way forward, yeah, by the I way, do. whenever you want frozen. Now, this is what you want to get. Nice, crispy, sausage nice and crispy, the mushroom, the, um, very important to get the rosemary before we're going to add you any can other really liquor. Smell it. You can really smell You can really smell it, right? Now, white wine, very important. I'm not using red wine because I don't want to stain the cream. Oh, are you going to put a cream sauce Oh, yeah. Holly, so, why do we put the white wine now? Because you're getting all the flavours off the pan and you're burning off the alcohol. Yes. Yes. I love it! <laughs> it's only yeah, taken eight years. It's like it's... having Hermione Granger in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I is? I love that. It's those, me, pick me. It's those little tips that, that, that are very important, and I love when people, they see me, and they say, oh, I've always done it the other way around, and it really works, and, and that's yeah. why I go on and on and on. OK, bubble away. It means the alcohol is going to weigh, all the flavour is in there. Double cream, yeah? Don't use uh, single cream, because it will split, OK? And look how much cream I use. Really little. Not I just so want to coat the sausage and the cream. Now, this is going to be delicious. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Be how careful long are you with that salt. Pasta eh? for? Uh, this pasta, four, four minutes. Okay. Job done. Be careful with the salt um, because the sausage are already salty. Can you taste if it needs more salt? Again, everybody at home, this is an amazing tip. Uh, whenever you cook, you know, get the habit to taste the food before you serve it. Yeah. So if you need to season, Okay, you can do, you it. Can do it before. Um, just honestly tell me if you need. Is it salty enough That's for enough. you? Okay. Secrets of any plate of pasta. Philip, what's the secret? Take oh, the pasta oh, oh. to the pan. Yeah. Now it's Philip time, you know? Okay. Go. Pasta in there rather than that in there. Why? Everyone knows that one. Because um, <laughs> otherwise it gets too watery. Yes, and also because so you the take sauce... a little bit of the water. Bravo! The pasta. See, a little bit of the water goes in there. Okay, and also because each strand of pasta needs to be coated by the sauce. Yeah. None of these thing that you shovel the sauce on the plate and you know the pasta on the plate yeah, and then the, the sauce. Middle, on... yeah. No, no, no. See, now is the per... now is the magic time about pasta. You mix everything together, and you get all the pasta to absorb the flavor of the sausage, mm -hmm. the rosemary. Okay. Easy way to do it. And have you seen the amount of cream that I'm using? Mm. In Italy, we use the cream to coat the pasta, As not to drain the pasta. How, how many people will this serve? Just because I think the thing is with pasta is that this we is always two have people. two bigger portions, don't we? Portion of pasta, when it's dry, okay, 125 grams per person. Mm. So a packet of 500 grams should be for four people. 
Uh, yeah, sometimes it's easier to do it visually. Like, if you know that's I, two I, That's where the mistake comes. No, but I mean, like, now I can see that's for two people. Because, uh, I mean, I could... You could eat probably that? Probably do that. I probably could do that, you know, especially... Uh, I'm going to put it all in one, because it's... Uh, it's three of us eating. No, it's what? also three of us. scraping. Right he can't cope with the scraping. Oh, is he? Why? He doesn't don't like worry. that noise. Don't worry. Oh, you don't, oh, I'm sorry. It's all fine. I'm it's all sorry. Fine. It's all I'm fine. sorry. You're doing really well. Do you want me to hold the plate? Okay. I'm there sorry. You right, you better right. taste it. Taste. So that. Taste. Tell me what do you think. It's going to be super hot. And uh, super simple. That's what I want to achieve. People still forget that pasta is the ultimate comfort mm. and fast food. Mm. You know, in less than probably eight minutes or something like that. That really is good. This is one of my so one of my flavor. recent favourites. This one. I mean, I love really? what, I love all of what you cook, but, the, but this is one of my favourites. I love this. And, and yet, one of the simplest things that we do it in Italy. It's mm. really yummy. Um, it's really yummy. The rosemary in it's so. If lovely. you want to do the vegetarian version, just mm. in case you want to do that, uh, get rid of the uh, sausages and diced courgettes. Oh. But in the same way, with the leeks, with the mushroom, with everything, take away the sausage. Add the good courgettes. idea.